In Colorado first at five tonight, we share a hero's tribute for a fallen soldier killed by enemy fire. The body of Specialist Gabriel Conde arrived back in Colorado this morning in Loveland. His family there to greet him. And Coloradans made sure his family knew his sacrifice would not be forgotten. They were coming together for each other as well. Hundreds lined the streets in Bertha and Longmont to pay their respects. Waving those flags were standing in salute. The funeral is planned for tomorrow afternoon in Longmont. And the burial will take place at Fort Logan National Cemetery on Monday. Now, Army Specialist Gabriel Condi died last week in Afghanistan. He was 22 years old. Our Dylan Thomas live at Bertha High School tonight. Dylan, an emotional day for that entire community. Dominic at the school right behind me, Berthet High School. The flag was at half staff to honor the graduate of this school. Just about a handful of years ago, he was here. Today, cadets at the school's JROTC program marched all the way to the processional route to bid farewell to the man they described as a hero. In the calm spring breeze passing through the small town of Berthet, waved hundreds of American flags as hundreds stood in silence to welcome home one of their own, a hero. Army Specialist Gabriel Condi's body returned home to northern Colorado after he was killed by small arms fire in Afghanistan. It's very moving to see what he did for our country. JROTC cadets stood shoulder to shoulder, some only four years younger than Condi, who graduated from their high school. It's extremely emotional. It's very moving. As you saw, some of our cadets are even in tears. We don't want to ever experience it again. As Condi's casket passed, followed by his family, many only took their hands away from their hearts to wipe away tears. It's very surreal. You hear about it, but you don't think about it happening in your town. It's much more real when you have to watch it go by. And this hit home with all of us. Some saying they always had a respect for Condi's call to serve and protect those here at home. But and he should have not had to die for that, but because he did, it makes that so much greater. And as a community mourns the loss of one of their own, some shared a common message to those who knew him best. Their son died a hero and he will be continue to be respected and honored forever. And we've brought him home today. Condi's family has set up an account for donations. They hope to use that money to end human trafficking in Afghanistan. They said there was something their son was very passionate about. Live in Bertha, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. Nice tribute, Dylan. Thank you. And we've put together some stunning images of just how Coloradans lined up to salute specialist Gabriel Conde. You can see those photos right now on CBSDenver.com.